नो इट इज दिस इज माई गॉड दिस इज माई बाबा साई बाबा आई वॉन्ट गिव यू आई से थर्टी स्वामी यू नो योर माइंड इज नॉट इन योर कंट्रोल ही लुक एट मी जितना घड़ा है उतना पानी डालो इसे फिस्टफुल ऑफ विभूति एंड रैन Sairam and welcome to Trist with Divinity our series of conversations with people who have been touched by the love of Bhagwan and Swami has sent to the studios today a very devoted couple from West Bengal they are an inspiration to hundreds of devotees we welcome you warmly to Sairam, thank this you. Thank you so conversation much. to the Sri Satya Sai Media Center please tell us how did Bhagwan enter your life when did the journey begin those joyful moments of knowing Swami Uh, I was a little wayward you know, when I was a student though my family was all in spirituality and religion but I never went th- in that direction you see so I thought you no know, god never existed oh so when I was uh, about 20 years I uh, completed my graduation but I was awaiting for the result my family suddenly proposed that we should all go to puttaparthi okay and i was also there in the list mm-hmm. amongst the devotees coming to puttaparthi so i joined then i came uh in somewhere in 73 december i think last so somehow swami had entered your family oh yeah mm. my my relative was there and and in my school days you know one friend of mine was a sai devotee mm-hmm. but i didn't know that it was sai's picture he always uh, he was always wearing a, a badge uh-huh. uh, with a big bust uh, you know i never knew that it was sai baba so i thought it is um, he is he is a musician or something like okay. that you know? <laughs> so i always uh, told him to give me that badge okay but you were somehow pulled to that yeah. person Even you, you, you can you can you give it to me i always used to ask him mm. but he always told me seriously very seriously that no it is this is my uh, god this is oh. my baba <laughs> sai baba i won't give you oh, okay. but i every day i pestered him you know okay. uh, asking for that badge mm. then finally he gave it to me okay, then i was wearing it, it without knowing you know oh wow <laughs> then we came to puttaparthi okay. everybody was there all were devotees then uh, swami was not calling us for interview swami always used to come and smile mm. but he never called us in mm-hmm. so uh, i was a little intrigued mm. so uh, after four five days i said you know let us go back to bangalore okay. uh, see some places around okay. <laughs> if he doesn't call us today mm. uh, we can move tomorrow mm-hmm. so that was our plan mm-hmm. and the planner was of course me <laughs> <laughs> so next day swami called us okay he, he came to me straight Mm. and come oh. he said mm-hmm. go inside how many of you, you are there i said i said so, uh, i didn't know the numbers you know mm. actually so i said uh, just 13 then he said okay go in then again he turned back how many then i saw a lot of people stood up you see mm. i said 30 swami <laughs> you know <laughs> telling straight lies to him <laughs> so he said go in going so he took to kasin then gave a group uh, spiritual okay. talk mm. I love everybody have devotion think about god always uh, one assemis lady was there as from he created a civil civil ingam and gave her okay. you know and then told her to worship it daily with some holy water water mm-hmm. pouring in water and then some some got some medallions he, he did all those things he is creating many yeah. things yeah you go in Oh, he asked you. Yeah. So he asked you specifically to go yeah, into the to go personal in, interview. Yeah, to go in, go into the room. Then I was seated in the floor, and then he said, "You get up. Your mind is not in your control. It is always wavering, not um, attentive in your st- studies. Hmm. What are you doing?" Hmm. So I mean, I've just finished my graduation, but the result has to come. It has not come yet. And he said, "Okay, okay, I'll see it." you have spoiled your economics paper but never mind i am there i'll give you grace marks i will give you grace marks grace wow. marks <laughs> then 
he he did this movement of his hand mm. then there came vibhuti uh-huh. he gave it to me and you eat it up then he gave me nice uh, talk about some bhajans he say he was singing one he said this uh, this way he is demonstrating me this is chalore man ganga yamuna tir and this is ida pingala and sushumna he said yes yes you should always concentrate in this yes. and sing sing the bhajans mm. mm. then i suddenly asked him so why why do you create this uh-huh. whole um, universe then he looked at me jitna ghada hai utna pani dalo he said he didn't answer anything uh-huh. he said jitna ghada hai utna pani dalo when you are yeah. asking him why did you create the universe one yeah. thing is you almost believe that he is no, now no, you had what i thought was you see if he doesn't create at all then he doesn't have to come <laughs> he doesn't have to you see correct the people he uh-huh. doesn't have to go through go all through this these process. process of trouble you see <laughs> uh-huh. that was my actually uh-huh. contention mm-hmm. but but he said jitna ghada hai utna pani dalo so basically he was telling you yeah, you take small water story. as per the your, size of the container yes exactly. so you just come in <laughs> yeah, yeah. trying to you it's like a yeah. bird trying to understand the sky <laughs> yeah this journey was a wonderful um, spiritual awakening for me wow. in, in fact mm. so that was in 74 74 mm, we were talking mm. about mm. and then later on i went back from the interview he mm. said you go and sing my glory uh-huh. and then I started singing bhajans mm. I landed into a musicians group oh okay then I started composing some bhajans also wow mm. that time darjeeling was you know full of swami's miracle mm. in every most of the houses they had some bibhuti coming amrit uh, you know flowing in the house from the frame of swami pictures in my house also we had that no we had some water contaminated water was coming in our Uh, house mm-hmm. because in hills we have that spring water uh-huh. water so it was not clear clean water mm-hmm. my mother was always complaining about water you mm-hmm. see we, you have to do something about filtering mm-hmm. it or something then later she started collecting the water in that pot um, a brass pot mm-hmm. then suddenly i had that you know it was uh, bibhuti is smelling everywhere mm-hmm. then i went to that pot and smelled and poured a little bit in a drum it was full of vibhuti <laughs> mm. then everybody started coming to our house you know okay <laughs> then we had to fill up their bottles and send it for long 2 3 months oh wow mm. so that way she was uh, my mother was mm. happy that it is swami's blessings we can take the water now <laughs> and when when i went into the interview in the first interview i had in my mind He is somehow if he is god then he has to change my life i want to forget everything of my past and start a new life you had thought that yes. mind mm-hmm. and then moment i entered into the interview room mm-hmm. inside swami sent me in and then he came you forget the past and start a new life that the, that that was the first, first sentence, sentence he spoke to me wow. the, inside the room and this is what you had thought yes. in your mind yes <laughs> that if he says this yes. then i know exactly. that he is god exactly and you really I, wanted to start a new yes. life yes yeah then again coming into that he said you know who who was making plan uh-huh now i said i i i was making plan so me <laughs> who who was making plan he said i made the plans for me last night we were planning mm. to go to gang- bangalore and mm. my sir if he doesn't call me for an interview <laughs> we'll go to bangalore and see around the city mm. then again third time he he said very sternly you know mm. who 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 makes the pa- plan mm. then suddenly i realized you know <laughs> it is swami who makes the plan it is you swami it is you mm. and my whole body was shivering inside mm. you know mm. from then onwards i never never seriously made any plan <laughs> of my life mm. it's like you know dry leaf you know <laughs> Yeah. Growing everywhere. Yeah. So, so wherever, is, wherever, wherever he wants to take us. The dry leaf floats uh, as mm-hmm. per the wind that he powers. Yes. Oh, wow. That's true. Then I started working social. So many social work uh, works I started. Then we started this road making. You know, motorable road mm. with physical labors. Mm. 
ऑल द सेवा दल्स ऑफ दार्जिलिंग यूज टू विजिट कालिम्पोंग इन दैट विलेज एवरी एवरी वीक इन अ ग्रुप इट टूक अस अबाउट थ्री फोर इयर्स टू कम्प्लीट द रोड रोड यू नो ब्रेकिंग द हिल्स बिग कट या या अर्थ कटिंग एवरीथिंग वाज लेट्स हियर द स्टोरी ऑफ मैडम ओ या हाउ स्वामी एंटर्ड हर लाइफ इट वाज इन 1971 आई वाज इन क्लास 6 देन आई यूज्ड टू गो बाय कैब टू द स्कूल so on the way i used to be used to see you know lot of men and women going around and and we didn't know where what where they were going so later we came to know that sat sai baba is coming to darjeeling <clears throat> so they now i think they must have been those seva dal you know oh, okay so they were going for some preparation i think mm-hmm. that was the first time i heard of swami mm-hmm. wow and there are so many occasions you have felt swami's presence you have felt his grace his protection Yes um I wanted to see a doctor lady doctor just for a physical check up when i went there she checked me up and she said um there's nothing wrong with you right now but i think you should see a cardiologist then it carried on like that for next 4 years i think hmm. then towards the end of uh, 91 91 91 91 my health started to wow and then i had lost a lot of weight i couldn't talk like this oh. and i couldn't work mm-hmm. in 92 when we came to drop our children mm-hmm. uh, we were here in june we come we drop the children and we go back but then i then my husband also said and my sister in law also said let's go and get yourself checked mm-hmm. i said okay so i went to the general hospital and in general hospital i think there was a doctor balla i think mm-hmm. so he checked me up and he said mm, you have a heart problem they took us to the super speciality hospital and i stayed there for another week and then i stayed in the hospital and every time i used to pray to swami swami if i have to undergo undergo surgery, surgery then i want it, it has to be your hands and my Fair, emma, really hemoglobin fair. was very low oh. it was only 8 mm-hmm. and that was not sufficient for the operation So the doctors used to come in the evening, and they, you know they used to take out the blood. It wouldn't come. Oh. They couldn't get my veins. Oh. So um, there was no alternative. Then one uh, evening, bhajan, t- I mean uh, darshan time, Swami hmm. came to him in the darshan no, line. He called me. Yeah, he called. Swami called me. Uh-huh. I ran yeah. from the main gate. Then I kneeled down and did like this. Hmm. Swami just created the vibhuti, and it poured in. Hmm. I made the fist, mm. fist full of bhuvuti, mm. and ran. Yeah, he came to the hospital. <laughs> no, no, the... no conversation too. But you knew what it. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. came straight to the super. It was meant for her. I knew that. Yes. Like this, you know, he mm. came mm. in the evening, five o'clock was the wow. visiting hour. So he came and he said, "This is for you." Mm. So I took it, and the mm. next morning, when the doctors came in the round and took my blood, mm. and when they tested it, it had gone up to nine point six. Oh, okay. So the doctors came and said, "Now your hemoglobin has gone up. up okay. So we'll be doing your operation in the whole world map. It's such a huge, mm-hmm. and then India, and then West Bengal, mm-hmm. and Darjeeling, and that also in Kalimpong, <laughs> and a small village called our uh, village is called Rouse Bazaar. Mm-hmm. And in Rouse Bazaar also one <laughs> house, and that in that house there I was. Mm-hmm. I prayed to Swami, Swami, please." it must be your hands mm. and when i uh, woke up no after the operation after the yes, mm. yeah dr benugopal came and he said you see did you see swami i said i know mm. he said he stayed for 20 minutes in your operation swami stayed for 20 minutes mm. yes swami was looking when uh, dr benugopal was operating, operating. no yeah. he was outside and he was looking swami through the glass there Yes, yes. He was physically there. Yes, wow. after yeah. morning bhajan, after morning nine o'clock, he went straight to a super specialty hospital, and he was there. Swami was physically there. Yes, Swami mm. was physically there. Wow. So you know, I don't know. I still I'm telling you, I don't know what devotion is, what uh, I had earned, but Swami was so gracious to hear my prayers, and uh, since then, I'm a completely different person. And till now it's thirty, yeah. Thirty years. It's my re- uh, rebirth, mm. and it's been thirty years, and I do not have any problem as such. Wow. I can. He runs anything. around, walks around. <laughs> I do my household work. I run my bank accounts. 
I go to Samiti. I I sing uh, uh, Mandali bhajans. Mm, such a fantastic journey. I mean, I uh, just to imagine that scene, you know, where uh, Swami created Vibhuti, uh, mm. and he ran and he, he you know he uh, he clasped that Vibhuti and 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 he came straight to you. I think yeah. at that moment itself, Bhagwan had cured you. You just had to go mm. through yeah. the procedure. You know, he had he already never said anything. I'm not, neither I said anything. Mm. I always say that Swami is so great. You know. Mm. He wants the devotee to feel importance. You know, he Important. gives importance to. Him. Actually, it's not my prayer that brought him. You know, it was his plan. Yes, yes, yes. He had planned all that, yes. but just to uh, answer mm-hmm. my prayers, he came so that I feel that Happy. Swami hears my prayer. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that way. Wow. Wow. I mean, it's really so amazing, and you know, and since then. Uh, you have been so dedicated uh, to Bhagwan's mission. You have not only been doing Balvikas classes, yes. even as Swami took care of your children here, yes. <laughs> you have been taking care of yes. so many side children yes, there yes. in your home. Uh, I run Balvikas classes, and and then some those those students who we keep at our home, she cooks for them. <laughs> she gives them free of cost everything. Yes. Wow. And then uh, we, uh, some of some of these st- students are in masters also. No? Yeah. Now they have mm-hmm. all yeah. studied and graduated. Swami yes. took both my children into the school, mm. so I didn't have to do anything for my children. Mm. His mission we can't understand. You know his plan. Yes. That's what mm-hmm. he's been telling. Yes. Don't mm-hmm. make plans. <laughs> so he has a plan, and his plan is always the best. Best, absolutely, absolutely. And it's not only these side children, but you know, as I was saying, you have uh, adopted this uh, yes. village, village, and yes. and you have started this school. Yeah, they uh, they complete their f- uh, class five there in the Sangse school. Sangse school. And then if they are poor, mm. we bring them, and then further studies we. Give. Sent to some different schools. Wow, fantastic! Mm-hmm. So it's 25 years now since the school started, and, oh, yeah. and devotees are supporting yes. uh, these uh, children mm-hmm. uh, of the hills. Wow, and life is really very difficult really in the sense. hills, and I think to be able to do that. Yes, yes. And and I know a lot of alumni also are involved. Oh yes, in yes. Supporting uh, even the present students, they present come students. every year, spend their one week. One uh, yeah, mm. and then we have a rejoicing time. You see, uh, we call it uh, festival, of, festival divine of divine love. Festival of Oh wow! Mm. So they are all looking forward it, to come to Kalimpong. Be- even if- before going to their house, own house, house. they come to that it's place. Yeah. The students yeah. first come spend yeah. time with those mm-hmm. children. They go house to house, yes. every uh, children's parents' mm. house, mm. and they meet them, give them bibuti, prasad, everything. Mm. Wow. Amazing. Then participate in some social work. Sometimes they paint the roof. Wow! So they are nice, you know. Mm-hmm. Little size students and big size students. Yes, they are all together. It's truly a festival yes. of. Then we have musical programs, oh. and they bring some videos and they show, you know, all. Wow. Amazing. It's a very very. I mean, it's, it's, it's really so moving when you think about yes. you know, the current student is going and spending time with them and mm-hmm. sharing Bhagwan's yes. love. I mean, I know uh, West Bengal is so far. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you have uh, Darjeeling, Kalimpong. People take two three nights uh, in yes. train to yes. actually yes. reach. Yes, yes. These days, when the students join here, they come so raw, and they haven't seen Swami physically. Yes. Yet their devotion is. Hundred times greater than ours. That's that's Swami. She's always there with each and everyone. Yes, it's guiding. So, yeah. you know those instructions that Swami gave: go and sing my glory, and you continue to do, and you continue to inspire uh, so many of us. Uh, thank you so much for coming to the studios, and we pray to Swami that you know we continue to see your smiling faces, <laughs> and you continue to inspire hundreds and thousands of youth. Uh, and devotees in Darjeeling, which is so so close to Swami. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so you much. So we we are so grateful that we. I was there when this was inaugurated. You see, <laughs> now uh, that this is first time I'm coming here <laughs> and getting this interview, and then I could yeah. open up my heart and say a few things about so again, Swami. So again, as you said, you don't plan. No, yeah. <laughs> he plans, yeah, yeah, he and his master plan, as Madam said, is always perfect. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you, Sarah. 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 Sarah.